Where am I today? Mark Scotty reporting live from 9, 9 East 71st Street. 9 East 71st Street, Manhattan. Upper East Side. Home of, home of the, the highest concentration of billionaires in America. In front of the home of Jeffrey Epstein. They dragged him into jail last night from New Jersey, you heard? So here we are, right in front of the, uh, right in front of the building here. I got fake news all over the place. Yeah, fucking fake news, cameras everywhere. So let's talk about it, right? Upper East Side of Manhattan. They, this is, uh, it's quite a, quite an apartment for one person, right? It's widely considered the most. Um, the largest residential home in Manhattan. <laughs> so let's talk about it. So, so what's going on here? So, so serial uh, serial pedophile uh, Jeffrey Epstein back in jail. Right? He's back in jail. You remember? So 12 years ago, he uh, he wiggled out of uh, charges of abusing young girls, and um, uh, now he has to appear in uh, federal court in Manhattan on Monday on charges of tracking dozens of minors between 2002 and 2005 in New York and in Florida where he has a home. Uh, sources, um, sat the Saturday arrest by uh, FBI, I'm just going to read for a while because I don't, I'm not, I'm not versed in this, in this case, I'm no pedophile chaser, but this is historical because this guy got away with murder, literally. I mean, he got away with, with See, he's the, probably America's greatest serial rapist, pedophile, and the guy's walking around. They finally got him. So, so 12 years ago, he uh, he whittled out of charges, um, trafficking dozens of uh, minors between 2002 and 2005 in New York and Florida, where he has a home. Sources said Friday, uh, Saturday, the FBI and NYPD Crimes Against Children's Task Force. Uh, comes 12 years after the 60-year-old, 66-year-old financer um, essentially got a slap on the wrist uh, for molesting dozens of children. Let's find a spot for this. So, what else can I tell you about it? So, the new indictment, which uh, according to two sources, will be unsealed Monday downtown. It's the same court. It's um, it's uh, New York, uh, New York South, right? Uh, it's the Southern District of New York. He's probably right now, Epstein is being held. He's probably in Metropolitan um, Correctional, downtown, same place as Cesar Sayoc, same place as um, Il Capo. <laughs> all, the, all, the, all the real heavy duty criminals are, are, are downtown. Um, so he's, he is being held. Uh, that's, that's different. That's a different equity. So the new indictment will be unsealed on Monday tomorrow in federal court. will reportedly allege that Epstein sexually exploited dozens, dozens of, uh, of young girls uh, in, a, in a now familiar scheme, uh, paying them with cash for massages and then molesting or sexually abusing them in the Upper East Side mansion of his uh of his resident in Palm Beach as well. Epstein will be charged uh, with one count of sex trafficking of minors and one count of conspiracy to engage in sexual trafficking of minors, which could put him away for 45 years max. The case is being handled by Public Corruptions Unit, again, Southern District of New York, with assistance of human trafficking officials and the FBI. Uh, so he was arrested in New Jersey at an airport and again, in custody downtown, about a dozen federal agents broke down the door of Epstein's, I'm reading from the Post, broke down the door of Epstein's $50 million mansion. Um, oh yeah, they did, check it out. So, so there's the door being broken down. All right. Some kind of other nonsense going down, right? So they definitely broke the door down, that's for sure. Confirmed. 
He's got his uh, he's got his Jewish Jewish uh, thing going on here. Huh? Should ring the bell and see if anybody home. Hey, anybody home? Hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> so, so they did break the door down. That's confirmed. <laughs> fucking fake news. You get right in front of them. <laughs> Jack offs. <laughs> So, a um, dozen agents broke, his, broke the shit down. $50 million mansion. Uh, this happened about 6 p.m. last night. What else? So, um, the doorman said, Now, uh, Epstein entertains a, con a constant parade of girls who come and went at all hours. Oh, man. See, you let the guy go and he's still doing the same shit, right? So, um, Epstein had been hit with a mere... Slap on the wrist 12 years ago uh, after more than 30 underage girls came forward with accounts of being lured by money and threats to his mansion in Palm Beach, Manhattan, and, and his Caribbean island. Um, they alleged performing sex acts on the wealthy financer and his powerful friends ranging, ranging from erotic massages to statutory rape. The charges uh, then carried a, a potential 10 years in life prison. In 2008, Epstein was allowed to plead guilty to state charges of soliciting only a single minor under the age of 18. He was sentenced to 18 months of work release in Florida State Jail and, federal, and the federal investigation ended. So he was charged in, at the state level, now he's being charged at the federal level. And that guy never really went to jail because I'll tell you what happened is he got work release, which means that he was... He, he slept in jail. He slept in a, in a, quote, jail at night. And for 16 hours a day, he, roamed, he went home to his uh, mansion in Florida. Uh, shit is crazy, man. Guy's never been brought to justice. That's not justice. Um, the charges, uh, so, so uh, he was sentenced to 18 months of work release. Um, the federal investigation was ended. He was allowed to spend 16 hours a day at his mansion in Florida. Uh, so he served 13 months out of the 18 months. Uh, he said to the Post, listen to this, a big fuck you to the, to the victims. I'm not a sexual predator. I'm an offender. It's the difference between a murderer and a person who steals bagels. It's a bagel stealer. That's how he, that's how he views himself. Epstein had uh, uh, cracked to the Post reporter after serving his time. That's what he said to the Post. Um, the plea deal was struck by Miami's top uh, federal prosecutor. This is where it gets interesting. Alexandra Acosta, who is now Secretary of Labor for Trump. So he was then the lead prosecutor, this Acosta guy. This is a name that's going to keep coming up in the story as we move forward. And he's now Trump's labor guy. But he, they basically turned their back on the guy. They gave the guy a pass. Uh, they gave Epstein a pass. Anybody, if that was you, me, or the, or the guy down the block, 30 counts of uh, 30 witnesses to sexual predatory would be in jail forever. This guy got a slap on the wrist. Why? Why? And who else is involved? Uh, who else is involved? So let's find out. Epstein owns a private Boeing 727 jet. Uh, you got, uh, this, is, this, is the, the, this is the story of billionaires. This is what's going on in our country. You know, I cry, you know, you got to break up, you know, break up the banks and come in wealth and equality. But these guys are, you know, running around literally with their dick in their hand, raping, raping children or, you know. Oh, and, and as well. So he's not he's not accused of raping small children. He's accused of the, the girls. His target was 13 to 16. Now, that is against the law. Right. Right. It's a serial that that makes him a serial pedophile and a serial rapist right. now is he is he is his is his um target young babies and two-year-olds and five-year-olds there's no evidence of that right. i'm not minimizing it i'm just stating the fact so epstein has a 7 a 727 jet and logged 600 flying hours a year so he has a home and this is his home in new york that they knocked the door down took a shit and um, 
He has a uh, he owns an island in St. Thomas. He owns a fortress in Mexico. He has an apartment in Paris. He has a 727 Learjet that takes him from location to location, screwing teenage girls. In September 2002, Epstein flew Bill Clinton, Kevin Spacey, and Chris Tucker to Africa in his private jet. Flight recordings show that Bill Clinton flew on Epstein's plane 26 times. Hmm. That's interesting. Bill Clinton flew on the plane 26 times. Epstein's plane has been nicknamed the Lolita Express by media due to his due, due to his conviction and accusations of sexual involvement with underage girls. Epstein was a longtime acquaintance of Prince Andrew. I know this is just I'm giving you his, history about the case, right? Because there's nothing going to go on here, right? All we saw was the broken down door. We know it's true. We know the story is true, and he's going to be sentenced. But just for a background, if you don't know the story, now you'll know it if you watch the whole video. So. Epstein, a longtime acquaintance of um, Prince Andrew and Thomas Barak, um, so, and, and numerous, he's attended parties of numerous celebrities such as Donald Trump. Now, here, here's where I'm going to uh, put a disclaimer, because guilt by association is not guilty. Right? Socialite parties, right, in, in this world of billionaires that, we've, that, we're, that I'm standing in right now, billionaires go to other billionaires' parties, right? That's just what they do. They schmooze each other. So the fact that Trump or even Bill Clinton was at a party where, where Jeffrey Epstein was is not guilt by association. That's just like the guy sitting in the chair next to you or at the table next to you. Right? So that's not, that's not guilt. But Trump, there is multiple pictures of Trump schmoozing the guy. And Trump said, I've known Jeffrey for 15 years. Terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. If he, uh, it is even said that he likes beautiful women such as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. Quote, Donald Trump said that about Epstein. Um, so this is his mansion. Some interesting facts about it. It's 50,000 square feet, nine stories, and it's called the... Um, Herbert N. Strauss building. Macy's guy used to own this. Uh, it used to be a school, uh, Burke Wharton School. Here's some interesting descriptions of what's inside. Visitors describe a, a bathroom reminiscent of James Bond's movie. <laughs> Hidden beneath a, a, a stairway, lined with um, lead to provide shelter from attack. Closed circuit televisions everywhere. Rows of individual framed eyeballs, some of the art. Uh, a naked African warrior, oriental fantasy paintings of women holding an opium pipe and caressing a snarling lion skin. Uh, guys living large. Under the gaze, plates of finger snacks are, are delivered to Epstein's guests by servants in white gloves. The guy has servants. He's got his own personal servants. Epstein owns the entire 70 acres of his uh, little St. James Island. He owns an island in the U.S. Um, US Virgin Islands. It's still the United States. It's still America. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, what else? His, uh, his, his uh, just a lot of money, right? His... Uh, his beach mansion, um, 6.8 million in, in uh, Florida. His 7,500 acres in Mexico, valued at 18 million. And the guy's still a, a serial pedophile, right? As far as we know, there's a, still a parade of, I don't suspect anybody's gonna come out of one of these houses and tell me they saw a parade of young girls going in and out of the house. But nonetheless, we got to see the, um, the smash down door. So who is, who is uh, Jeffrey Epstein? This is good biographical stuff too, because uh, according, to, um, according to New York Post, Epstein lost $57 million in the Bear Stearns debacle. 
How did he get such a sweetheart deal? That's what I want to know. See, that's that's the the the, uh, the takeaway here. All right. So he he lo loses 57 million in the Bear Stearns case, and was identified as major investor number one in the indictment of hedge fund managers um, Ralph um, Ku Ku Kofi and Matthew Tannen. Right. So one of the this is interesting too. One of the federal prosecutors on the Bear Stearns case agreed. Bottom line, I have no knowledge of Epstein cooperating in any way in the Bear Stearns case. There was no reason for him to use him. Right? That's what's so mysterious about him. Who gave the guy cover? Right? Who gave this guy cover? Was it it was under it was under Bush Obama? Right? It was under Bush Obama. But who gave him cover? Who? How did he? How did he get this sweetheart deal with Acosta, the now, the now um, uh, Secretary of Labor? How did he do it? Right? That, that that's the part of the story that doesn't make sense. Right? So. So they say that there's no evidence that that he he was able to. Um, he was able to give federal agents anything in exchange for his release for his sweetheart deal what else can we say about it? so that's really all the statistics I know I know I went a little a little bit crazy let's go take a look at the neighborhood a little bit shut the shit down so so Marks County reporting here on uh, 71st Street in East always watch when you cross the street so you don't get wiped out this is the Frick Museum by the way this is uh, the Frick collection if you want to look it up I don't know the zip code, but if you if you wanted to Google it, it's um, again uh, nine East Seventy First Street, New York, New York. You can find it out. So what's going to happen with uh, Epstein? The rich get richer, the powerful are protected. Those are the times we live in, right? You got to suck it up, man, because you're not a billionaire. Right? What is the real story? It's income and wealth inequality. It's buying, it's buying freedom when you're guilty. This motherfucker's got a parade of, of teenage girls coming in his house, in and out of his front door, all fucking day long. And they know it. Right? Flying them around on planes with fucking Bill Clinton. Right? The guy's a serial creep. Right? And everybody knows it, but he's free because he's a billionaire. Because he could pay off the right people. Because he could pay off your politicians. Uh, it's, the problem is money in politics. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to get out of here for a little. <laughs> Go walk into the park. So, we're right, it, well, look where he is, too. I mean, we're right, on, we're right on the side of Central Park. This is some of the most wealthy real estate in the world. Woody Allen lives over here. Uh, who else lives over here? Um... Bill Cosby lives on that block. That. So, the rich and famous. This guy got away with it. We'll follow the story. I'll go down there tomorrow and check out the court. I don't suspect that we'll see him unless you go into the court. And then there's no cameras in the court anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> Let fake news go in there and do it. And uh, maybe his lawyers will give a statement outside. But again, he's got, the, he's got top, top protection. Is he a flight risk? That's what I want to see tomorrow. Is a guy with, with $50, $50 million, $50 billion, however much money he has, and a, and a Learjet and, and, and five homes all over the world, is this guy a, a, a flight risk? That, what I mean is if you let him out on bail, is he going to disappear? Is he going to suddenly you know, fake his own, his own murder? His own death. Oh, he died in a hospital. You remember? You heard? Oh, he had an accident. Right. So, he is a flight risk. Let's see if they let him out. You know, they, they should hold this guy, right? Hold him in Rikers Island. Hold him in a, in a little cell. And parade, get those, who else is involved? Who else is involved? Are they going to bring down, you know, are they going to bring down Bill Clinton, the other pedophiles? Does this guy work alone? No, he was pimping these kids out. He's pimping them out, right? So, so let's let's start the avalanche of 
witnesses coming forward. That's what we, that's what you really want, right? That's what you need, right? I'll go this way. I'll end it on Pilgrim Hill. This is one of my favorite spots because no tourists know about it. <laughs> I'm fucking New Yorker. I just jumped over the fence, walking on the grass. I can't take tourists, man. I'm sorry. I know, I know. People love New York. They love to come here. It's just a fucking pain in the ass, man. <laughs> So I'm in Central Park. I'm on uh, Alice in Wonderland is down there. The uh, Stuart Little Stuart Little uh, Pond is there. Uh, who else? The Dutch poet. I forgot his name. Uh, Hans Christian Andersen monument is over there. But this is one of my favorites right here because it's purely American, right? Rather than fantasy. I wonder if Epstein moved over here because of Alice in Wonderland. That's a great statue, but you, you can't get a clean shot of it. There's kids all over the place. Kids climbing all over. But this is a pretty cool one. This is the uh, Pilgrim Soldier. And, um, get a look at him right now. Hello, Pilgrim. Making you famous again. Nobody comes over and visits you except me. I come over. So he's the Pilgrim Soldier and the. Uh, commemorate the uh, the landing of the Pilgrim Fathers on Plymouth Rock in 1620. I don't know what that has to do with the story, but it's fucking interesting, right? So, I guess I'll kill it here. Marcus Conti reporting on the uh, the Jeffrey Epstein breaking, breaking story. It's definitely breaking. Um, we want to see the things that I talked about. We definitely want to see the the unsealed indictment. We want to see if there's any other uh, people named in the indictment. Is it is it just a uh, are they just coming back? Is there anything new? All right, the guy's still running around, you know, serial rapist. Is there anything new? Are we going to learn anything new about new victims? Are new victims going to come forward? And maybe we could stop this. I know, man. This is you guys. I know the pedophile community. You guys love this shit, man. This is time to get busy, man. This is your this is your payday, man. Yo, this is your payday. Marcus Conti reporting.